Okay, hello friends. So before we uh, start, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, please uh, uh, tell your friends about it and also uh, share this video if you like it. So uh, this video is all about uh, uh, comparing two kinds of eyepieces of the same uh, focal length. Uh, here I have the uh, original Celestron uh, uh, eyepiece. Uh, 10 millimeter eyepiece which comes with the uh, S2 Master 130EQ when you just buy it okay and this one I got it from online it's an aspheric one okay also a 10 millimeter eyepiece and, uh, and it's mentioned on it a 62 degree uh, field of view now both of them are almost of the same uh, uh, like uh, the lens glass width you know looks like uh, they look like it okay so I'm going to show you them before we test them on the Celestron Isomaster <coughs> EQ okay so by the way I'm intentionally is using this setup of uh, uh, setting the camera if you see here I am using my mirror okay uh, just for the sake of uh, making you know that uh, I'm using this this bracket here okay Remove the uh, bracket when I move to the telescope. The telescope is outside here. Okay, here it is. See this one in the bottom. Here, there. So, yeah. So, um, this is the uh, 10 millimeter original one. Okay, you're just focusing on it so you can see it. See, this is its opening. Uh, this is a plus L1. Okay, and we have here the aspheric. So you see it's written on it as aspheric. Okay, 62 degree uh, field of view and 10 millimeter. They look almost as the same uh, diameter of the eyepiece, I mean the glass diameter. Okay. Um, so we're going to see now <coughs> uh, the uh, uh, eyepieces when I install them. Now, uh, the, this mount has the, the mount here in the back of the phone. Okay. Uh, has something that turns it and then I can just install the eyepiece like this on it okay and it will fasten it okay and uh, has, it will have a grip on it so it can hold it okay and uh, so uh, and I'm going to move the telescope and then we see where uh, how things go so we're going to start with the original one then we're going to see the aspheric one okay so please bear with me um, because it will be it will be a little bit annoying when I just install the IPs. Okay, so let me install the IPs first when it's uh, while it's while the phone is still installed on the tripod. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to shift uh, and move the phone. And I will open the doors here to the veranda. Okay, go outside, and we're going to take a picture of a uh, yeah, of a mosque that goes somewhere far. Like, I'll show you the real mosque. this okay I will zoom with the mobile first so you can see it so this is the mosque in the center okay and the black uh, thing in the wall uh, the bottom is just the uh, 
mount. Okay, so I have to zoom out and take the mount back in with all the eyepiece. Now you see the eyepiece. Now, as long as we see the eyepiece in the center, okay, this means that we're going fine. And here's the mask. Okay, so this is the 10 millimeter original. Okay. And this is without the zoom that comes or the magnification that comes from the uh, mobile. So now I'm going to put the mobile. Just centering the image, the opening of the thigh piece. Now here's the maximum zoom on the phone. Okay, just just to take an understandable image. Uh, I mean, uh, an image that we can understand. So this is the top of the mask. Okay. Yeah, and I'm now giving more focus with the the telescope itself. Now, because it's in the middle of the day, so it's very hot and I'm in July, so that's why you see these. Okay. These waves on the image. Okay. Okay, and this is more uh, like a focus from the autofocus of the uh, of the phone. Okay, so this is how you see the uh, zoom of the uh, original tens uh, plus L Celestron uh, eyepiece, the millimeter eyepiece. Okay, now I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to remove the uninstall. I mean the uh, the current eyepiece. Okay. The original one and go to the and move to the uh, S5 one, okay? <clears throat> okay, now we're moving, and first I must remove the, the zoom from the phone. Okay, so you can know exactly where the eyepiece opening is. Okay. So again, this is the mask, so you can see. Okay, and compare. Now I'm installing the aspheric. I removed the uh, the original eyepiece from the shaft, and now I'm moving to put the and I'm putting now, of course, the aspheric. Okay, now a little bit of focusing. Okay, yeah. A bit of centering. Now I'm zooming with the mobile. Maximum zoom. Okay. So this is how the aspheric will look like. Um, now I'm only just comparing at daylight, and uh, only and also all I care about is just the zoom. Okay, the zooming power. So, uh, if you have any other concerns, uh, I'm not taking care of it. I'm not <laughs> giving any interest in them, okay? So, uh, yeah, it feels the original one gives me, is giving more zoom, a little bit of more zoom, okay? Mm -hmm. Trying to more focus. But yeah, that's it. So, um, this is how they, they look like, okay? <sighs> yeah, and yeah, that's all. 
uh, please, uh, as I said, when we started, please share the video with your friends, okay, if you uh, feel uh, that you like it, okay? Bye.